this occurs to me. Now, I, this is something that's very, that I don't share very much, but I, I will share this because I, I think it fits in here. When Gurdjieff passed away, when my, my teacher passed away, um, there was a great loss, I mean, a tremendous loss. And I can remember very vividly when we were, were gathered up there, uh, uh, I guess Chidambaram. We were gathered outside of Chidambaram and they were gonna, they were gonna put him in, in his uh, sepulcher. And there, there were th lots of us around that, whatever, a thousand or 500 or some gigantic number. And we were all mourning and, you know, we were very moved. I mean, a lot of people were very sad. Uh, most people were experiencing the, the great loss. And soon after that, maybe the same day when I was walking away or something, I felt so close to him. I felt so close. And it occurred to me that when you experience and you really get the loss, then the presence is there at the same time. It's like the loss and the presence are both there at the same time. It's like, what? How could that be? And then it, I really got how Swami Satchitananda was always telling us that he was going to be more present when he left the body. And it's strange. It's strange that... Um, I find, and I, many, many, many people have noticed this. I'm not the only one who's noticed this. But you can just have the thought, and the thought itself opens up the presence. And maybe it's a deep, it's a deeper kind of thought, perhaps, or something. But maybe the these deeper thoughts actually can be revealed out of sadness and out of loss, more so even than when that person, if it's a person, is there with you. It's a very strange phenomenon. <laughs> the person is more with you <laughs> when they're gone. And I've noticed that other times as well with other people. It's that we, and my conclusion, if my mind has a conclusion about this, which <laughs> <laughs> my mind has plenty of conclusions, is that uh, this reality is not the way we, we see it at all, actually. And that whatever life is, it's not bound up in uh, skin and bones. This life is, a, is an energy, whatever that is, and it's, it's floating around all the time, and it's really everywhere. Um, this is a new idea for my mind that uh, I find very uh, engaging, very, very engaging. Uh, it's part of joy, I think, actually. This is, this is a part of what joy is, realizing that, you know, it, it's not, things don't just like end and go away. Thanks for listening. If you've enjoyed this content and think others might as well, please feel free to share and subscribe.